Hello everyone, this is Gautam, product expert in Zoho Writer. I welcome you all to this webinar in which we will be discussing about improving business process with automated fillable form generation in Zoho Writer. And I've got Vignesh with me. He's going to be a product expert in Zoho Writer. He'll be assisting you with a Q&A. Q um, if you have any questions, you can just post it in the Q&A tab and uh, he'll be able to answer you during the webinar. And at the end, we will also have a Q&A session. Uh, it's going to be an interactive Q&A session. So we have received various questions and found out different use cases in our previous webinar. And so in this webinar, we are going to dig deeper in explaining various use cases along with a quick demo. So here is a quick recap about uh, what exactly went through in our previous webinar. So we saw how we can send out order details in bulk and collect additional data from customers or clients. And also we checked out how to send out documents for collecting the data and then sending the data along with the collected information for signature. And we also explained the feature save and resume, uh, which will allow you to fill a document partially and later continue from where it was left off. So these are the quick um, recap of uh, the previous webinar. So let's just get into the today's webinar. So today uh, we are going to check out what are the possibilities uh, that can be achieved using fillable templates. So you can bulk generate documents in a single click. So whether you need to create multiple invoices, contracts, or any other type of document, we will demonstrate you how you can simplify this process and save valuable time. And uh, you'll have rich controls in this bulk generation. And multiple and multi-format templates can also be created or uploaded. And you can store these files in Google Drive if required. And uh, mass delivery of documents via email can be done. And also, you can send documents with unique data. Why uh, you can generate multiple documents with unique data, and you can also collect additional information and then send it for signing or save. Uh, you can do uh, these operations. So this is the agenda of today. Um, first, we are going to check how to add multiple responders to a fillable document. And then we are going to check uh, how to send out fillable documents via QR code. And uh, we can check about uh, how to work on uh, the PDF fillable forms. And yes, uh, we are also, um, we have got a feature lineup uh, that's going to be pretty exciting as well. The first one is uh, this feature will allow you to add multiple responders to a form so that they'll be able to add additional information in the document. And this can also be used for getting approvals or making corrections in a filled form. Let's discuss this uh, with more of a live example. So here is the document that I have created. And in this example, we have created a document with merge fields as well as with fillable fields. And we have also added drop down fields so that it will make the form more interactive. So when you sub, uh, send out the forms, uh, users and customers can uh, use these drop-down values and add in or fill in the data. And here I have added the approver's name and email address as well. And uh, as you can see, the park name and the state is a merged, uh, temp merged field. So I have these data source in this document, which is going to be a sheet file. And as you can see, there are four um, uh, parts that I have added. And when I merge, these data will be uh, provided to will be provided with four different documents. And for the, all these, I am going to assign an approver so that uh, this can be filled out. And once submission is done, the approver will be able to approve the document. So in order to perform that step, what you have to do is that you have to go to the automate tab and select merge and share fillable link. And in this, you can add in the email address that I have in the data source in the sheet file. So I'll just use the merge field so that using uh, each document will be uh, sent out to a particular approver. And once it is done, this is gonna be the fillable link in the custom message that I have added, and I'm gonna save this setting. And after this, uh, you can configure the form submission action. So after the form submits, 
these are the actions that can be carried out in Zoho Writer. So when a user is accessing a link and when they click on submit after filling the data, you can either save it to a folder in WordPress, or you can send that filled or submitted document via email, or even you can send it for sign collection. And uh, if you require, you can also save the responses to a Zoho sheet. And if you have any custom function, you can just uh, use this as a trigger and uh, trigger out a custom action. And as you can see, under responder options, there is an option called send responses, responses for approval or completion. So you can click, click on it and select the approver's email address. You can enter the approver's email address so that every document that is getting generated will be sent out for this particular email address as an approver so that they'll be able to upload, uh, approve it again. So now I've saved these settings and uh, <clears throat> I'm clicking on done configuring. So now I'm just going to go ahead and run the merge. And while we wait, I'll also show you the report page that we have. So for each and every merge that is being carried out, we will have a log uh, page where you can check out the status of the current uh, status of the merge. So here you can see that it is being initiated and there are total of four different documents that is gonna be generated. And these four uh, documents will have completely unique data that I have set up in the um, data source. So now, yes, it's in progress. And uh, once it is done, the link will be created and uh, I'll be getting an email. So yes, so the, now the form is being sent and I'll just go to my email section. And these are the three, these are the three forms that I've uh, got. And so I'll just go ahead and uh, click on the link. And this is going to be the first level of inspection. So what I've created is that a park as a quality control and uh, 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 an inspector is gonna go on field and they'll be taking out uh, or um, rating out the um, park. So they'll just add the date field and give a, a rating for that particular item. And in the description, if they require, they can also add in some comments. So now after this, um, they can select the inspector name or the approver's name and um, just click on submit. So, so based on this approver's email that I've entered, um, the email will be sent out to the approver. So now here is the section where I'll be receiving the email for approvers. Yeah, I've got the email. So when I click on it, I can see an off button called continue filling. So I'll just go to the continue filling button and uh, check out the uh, details that was entered by the previous uh, inspector. So now what I'll do is that I'll just check it out. And if I want, I can add my approval comments. And now I'll just go ahead and hit on submit. So when I submit this, I can either, uh, as mentioned earlier, uh, these are the options in which uh, after submission I can perform. So I can either send it for collection, sign, uh, email, or uh, I can even save it to a folder. So this is the first uh, use case that we are talking about. And uh, when it comes to business use cases, you can make use of this for contracts and agreement approvals where uh, both the parties uh, needs to uh, add data in a particular form. And we have got a job application form where the um, candidate and the HR would be interacting in a form. And when it comes to government and healthcare, um, so, so when it comes to healthcare, uh, in medical industry, uh, a lab technician can fill out a form and then it can be sent to the doctor where he or she can approve the form or make necessary changes if required. So this can be done using the um, multiple responder option. So the next um, document that we're gonna talk about is how we can send documents to fill via QR code. So 
so for this um, i have um, created an online in event registration form where um, i have added drop drop down fields and uh, check boxes radio buttons and even i mean inserted conditions and uh, these can be found only uh, in using when you're using zoho writer so this is a pretty exciting feature where you can add in conditions so that based on the conditions certain fields will be visible to users or uh, based on it it will be hidden so these are uh, various options available in zoho writer and in here i have added just the name as the uh, data source so i have added a zoho sheet file in which i have got a first name so i'll just be pulling the first name and sending out um, this form with uh, unique users and here um in the share fillable link what i can do is that uh, i can also have a link or if i want it to be sent in a qr code i can just enter shared uh, fillable link as a qr code so once i once i'm done with this i'll just go ahead and save it <clears throat> so now i'll just go ahead and run the merge now i'll just be viewing the log and uh, as you can see there are two different documents generated in this particular scenario and uh, this can be filled out by various users so pretty much uh, the overall goal here, here is to generate bulk forms and send it out for uh, collecting additional information so this page will be actually auto refreshed i'm just uh, refreshing it to check the status so yes now i'll be receiving an email uh, with the registration forms there are two uh, emails in my email box and i'll just go ahead and click on the link so if required if your customers require they can also take out their mobile devices and just scan the qr code so that they'll be able to access the form from their mobile and enter the required information so now i'm just going getting into the form and i'll just fill out the details um so as you can see the name is actually prefilled from my data source that i have added and i am entering the phone yes and the rest of the details i can just fill it out and uh, um click on submit so as you can see mandatory fields must be filled in order to submit the form and once i click on submit i'll have a custom info, custom message shown to me and click on done so this is the second use case and uh, even um yes and these are the business use cases using which you can use qr code as a to send out documents when there are event registration uh, so if you are a Uh, organization that uh, creates or checks with events you can make use of the event organization forms and if you have, if you require feedback or uh, if you are taking out surveys then you can use this option and for educational and training related uh, forms also you can uh, make use of this the next option uh, the next document would be to how what are the ways with which you can work on a fillable pdf form so here Uh, there are two ways uh, you can either upload a pre created uh, pdf into zoho writer and work on the fields or you can create a new template and then convert that as a pdf file pdf file and then send it out for filling so in this template um, i have actually uploaded a pdf file directly and these fields uh, the fillable fields that are available is auto populated so you need not go ahead and create all these fields again is it will just auto populate and you can easily interact with these fields and if you require you can also just drag and drop fields into your uh, template so it's so easy and uh, simple so now what you can do is that there are various options available for you so you can just uh, click on share and enter the email address of any users and send this document as a uh, fillable pdf form and or else if you want to have additional security then you can make use of this external share link 
and then uh, add in a password so that only when the users are entering their password, they'll be able to fill this form. So since this is a HIPAA auth form, uh, we have just um, we can just send it in a protective way by adding a password. And uh, these are the options for uh, working on a PDF form. Whereas um, if you are creating a PDF, uh, if you want to create a PDF, so right now uh, the options would be to purchase a software and then create a fillable PDF form. Whereas when it comes to Zoho Writer, you need not uh, purchase any additional thing. It's going to be a free um, option for you. What you have to do is that uh, you can just uh, add in uh, or create the required template and just click on file and go to download as and select a fillable PDF form. So this will actually uh, download the file as a PDF form. And once when I open it, I'll be able to um, interact with the fields and uh, I'll not be able to submit it, but I can take out the, uh, take out it as, take it out as a printout. So I'll just open this PDF file for you so that you can have a look at it. So this is how the um, PDF file will look. So this is entirely created in writer and it is being converted into a PDF form. So you can use uh, this, uh, in, um, these fields can be interacted. And uh, you can also take this as a printout along with the submitted data. So the submitted data will also be available for you and uh, you'll be able to take it as a printout. So when it comes to the use cases of this form, um, you can use it for um, onboarding users who are working remotely or who are available remotely. So you can just uh, send out this form and uh, they'll be able to um, fill in the data and uh, they'll be able to take it out as a printout and send it to you. And whenever there is a requirement for physical sign collection, so if you do not prefer digital signatures, then you can make use of the, uh, this PDF form and take it out as a printout by filling in data and then uh, sign it physically. And also if you're going for a field survey where uh, the internet connection might not be good, in that case, uh, you'll be able to uh, just enter in the data and uh, whenever required, you can take it out as a printout. So these are the <clears throat> various uh, use cases. And when it comes to feature, feature lineup, so we are thrilled to share that we have an array of exciting new features that will be released in the new future. Um, so the first one is hidden form fields. Uh, this option will allow you to hide certain fields from responders. So if you're having an internal ID for a particular submitter, which is not to be revealed, then in this case, you'll be able to use this hidden fields. Um, as an example, um, um, yeah, uh, so the next one is use of lookup fields. So lookup fields will allow you to dynamically populate field options and uh, values from a CSV file so that once the required field is selected, all the other fields in the form will be filled based on user's uh, selection. For example, if there is a vehicle service company where a technician needs their customer ID, where uh, the technician enters their customer ID, then all the data related to the customer will be auto-populated in the document. So the, you, the, technician, the technician can just fill out the remaining fields and then click on submit. So for example, uh, if, I, if the technician enters the customer ID, the customer's vehicle name and model, along with some uh, previous service information, uh, those will be auto-populated based on the data source that I have set up. So this is a pretty exciting feature called lookup fields, which will be released. The next one is attachment field. So in attachment field, uh, you will be able to upload a file in a particular document. So for example, if a user is submitting some personal information and attaching a proof in a document, they'll be able to make use of the attachment field so that they can upload their uh, personal ID proof or, um, or any other such uh, related information. And then they'll be able to submit the field, submit the form. The next is formula field. So you can create form field calculations and then configure fields, which will display the result based on your calculation. And there is another option called subform field. So this will actually allow you to allow the user who is filling the form to add additional rows based on their requirement. It will come handy when uh, users are adding their educational qualifications or adding their dependent details in the insurance forms. So there'll be, there'll be a plus icon when you click on it, an additional row in the table will be created so that they can add multiple data dynamically. 
and uh, we have a master form support which will allow you to create a master data and then use it for uh, pre-filling multiple documents and the next is fillable template approval or review so right now in zoho writer we have got workflows which which is restricted only to the documents that you create so we are now extending it to templates as well so if you are creating a fillable template you can just send it for a workflow you can send it for approval or reviewal to your managers so that based on their approvals uh, the, doc the document can be used and we are uh, we also have going to uh, provide an option to populate drop down options uh, where uh, you can add multiple data to a specific field so that the user who submits it will be able to choose anything from that so yeah um, these are the um, uh, features that we have lined up and uh, it's going to be released soon so we will be posting all the updates and we will also be taking out uh, webinars on every uh, second thursday of the month so um, all the thursdays uh, second thursday you can join our webinar and uh, we will be discussing about the new features as well as uh, if you have any questions or uh, if you feel uh, that uh, this topic needs to be covered out so you can just uh, make use of the q and a box and uh, um, just uh, post it out here so that we can, you'll be using that for the upcoming webinars and uh, you can also go to our uh, webinar page where you will be finding out our completed uh, webinars so the previous webinars will be available and uh, Vicky will be posting the link uh, to the completed webinars. You can check that out. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. And uh, have a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.